दिव्य आत्मन हरि ओ ब्रह्मानंद वलिय तैतरीय उपनिषद नाइन्थ अनुवाद now to start with it is needless to mention that only when the knower sees nothing but his own self that he can be fearless and permanent because in that case there is none other than himself that could produce fear all beings other than brahman must be creatures of ignorance because that knowledge of brahman alone makes us consider the external universe as unreal the idea of duality is the creation of ignorance this is proved to be unreal by knowledge dawn now the ninth anuvag of taitariya upanishad brahmananda vali om yato vacho nivartante aprapya manasa sah anandam brahmano vidwan na bibheti kutaschaneti etanghavavana tapati kimaham साधु नाकरबम किमहम पापमकरबमिति साया एवं विद्वानी ते आत्मानम श्रुणुते उभे यै वैशके ते आत्मानम श्रुणुते यैवं वेद इत्युपनिषद ही हु नोस द ब्लिस ऑफ ब्रह्मन from which all words return without reaching it together with the mind is not afraid of anything such thoughts certainly never distress him why have i not done what is good why have i committed sin he who knows thus regards both these as the atman verily both these he regards as the atman who knows thus this verse gives a brief summary of the whole teaching of the second section that is called brahmananda vali of taitariya upanishad brahman the unconditioned non dual bliss is beyond the scope of the speech and thought the speech as the power of describing all objects of this world only that are conditioned by name and form the mind has the power of knowing all objects which have name and form but brahman is without name and form and so he is indescribable and incomprehensible where there is knowledge of objects their speech goes speech and mind name and perception always go together he who knows the invisible unqualified unnameable brahman which is sinless which is free from all desires which is free from the relation of enjoyer and enjoyment which is the natural which is eternal is not afraid of anything he realizes the unity or oneness of self all distinctions differences dualities and separateness 
have vanished from him. The cause of fear created by ignorance has now disappeared. He beholds his own self everywhere. He feels that everything that exists is nothing but his own self. Therefore, he feels no fear from anything. The knower of Brahman is not affected by such thoughts as Why have I not done what is good? Why have I done evil actions? Because he regards that good and bad are what? Different manifestation of the same Atman. Virtue and vice do not afflict him. They cannot generate subsequent births. He knows that the Atman is actionless and the mind only is the doer of all actions. He has neither wants nor egoism nor desires. He doesn't expect fruits of his actions. He never repents over his past actions. He always abides in his own self and is ever blissful. All troubles come only when man identifies himself with this little body and mind on account of ignorance and regards himself as the doer and enjoyer. The knower of Brahman realizes that he is the non-doer and non-enjoyer. He who thus realizes that both virtue and vice are only different aspects of the same Atman strengthens his knowledge of the Atman by realizing oneness of unity of self everywhere. The highest consummation lies here. Thus has been explained in this chapter the knowledge of Brahman wherein lies the highest good. Om Shanti 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 Om Tat Sat